Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kinesthetic, and I'm here with you guys today with a new video. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing and trying out the new Mayo Organics Hawaiian Ginger Collection. And ever since it came out, I feel like I received so many DMs like, when are you going to review the collection? When are you going to try the collection? Let us know what you think of the collection. So here I am today to give you guys my honest thoughts and opinions, as always, on this collection. Before we get started, do not forget to subscribe. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below, sis. Join the family. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the results. Let me know what you guys think of the collection if you guys got your hands on it and tried it out go ahead and comment down below and share your thoughts and without further ado let's go ahead and get started so i started off using Maya organics moisture rx hawaiian ginger moisturizing overnight conditioner and this product is essentially a deep conditioner you're supposed to put it in your hair leave it in overnight and then rinse it out which is exactly what i did this product claims to add additional Moisture and hydration to the hair. Restore your hair while you're sleeping. Give hair a jump start for the next day. And it claims to be great for protecting your hair from split ends. As well as leaving your hair feeling soft and silky. So I went ahead and applied that conditioner. Sorry about my voice guys, I'm so sick. But I went ahead, put my hair up in one. Applied a shower cap just to make, you know, everything less of a mess as I'm sleeping with the overnight. And then I tied my head, went to sleep, and woke up the next morning to rinse it out. So I'm out the shower and I rinsed out my deep conditioner. And this is how we are looking right now. Um, so yeah, so now I'm going to go in and style it. I'm going to show you guys what I purchased as styling options. So the first styling option that I purchased was this moisturizing hair butter. And I think that I would use this to do a twist out, which we're not doing today. So if you guys want to see a separate video of me trying this hair butter doing a twist out, let me know and I will definitely do that. But I also purchased the moisturizing styling gel, which we're going to use today in our wash and go. Super, super excited to try this because most of the videos that I've seen, people have tried wash and goes and they have been bomb.com. And the last styling related product that I got was this moisturizing leave-in conditioner, which I'm going to use to prep my hair for today's wash and go. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by sectioning my hair into four sections. So I was recording and I realized that I did not shave my armpits. So I went ahead and got right real quick. So we are smooth and back in business. Okay, uh, I went ahead and separated my hair into four. Now I'm going to go ahead and hold on. We're missing a... Uh, a necessity my wrapper room to make sure that we stay nice and clean as we're doing our hair I purchased this from Amazon I'll go ahead and link it down below but yeah so I'm gonna go in and start with a section in the back and I'm gonna go ahead and split it in half and the key to a popping wash and go is to make sure that you do it on wet hair so I have my spray bottle here, which I also purchased from Amazon. I'll go ahead and tag the video where I spoke about purchasing this bottle. And I'm going to go ahead and wet my hair, like wet it. I want it to be drenched. I usually do this in the shower, but I want it to sit down and be relaxed and, you know, for this video. But I'm going to wet my hair to give it the effect of if I'm still in the shower. Okay. So now that my hair is wet, I'm going to go ahead and detangle it from ends to roots. Another key of a pop and wash and go, you don't want no tangles up in there. So make sure you detangle. Now I'm going to go in with my moisturizing leave-in conditioner. And this is the first impressions. I have never opened these products. I just unwrapped them. As you guys can see, the consistency of this leave-in conditioner is pretty thick compared to other leave-ins that I use. But I like that because I feel like, you know, the thicker the better to me. That's how I feel. And I'm going to go ahead and get that all in my hair. This is the step we are doing to prep our hair to make sure it's moisturized before we initiate, I guess, the style. I always put leave-ins in my hair while I'm in the shower, as you guys know, if y'all not new to my channel. And while my hair is wet to make sure that we are locking in as much moisture as possible, especially for my low porosity girls, woo woo. But um, yes, I usually don't leave the shower without a leave-in. 
put in my hair while it's wet and I always do it before I do any styling whether it's a twist out a wash and go a perm rod set I always apply leave-in first so now that our hair is moisturized from that leave-in conditioner I'm gonna go in with my water bottle and I'm just gonna spray it a little bit more now I'm gonna go in with the moisturizing styling gel this is the star of the show I hope she came to show out because the girls are waiting the girls have been waiting for a while now it smells amazing just like all of the products that I have purchased it just smells like so vacationy so tropical so it's very summer appropriate so she if, if she works then she might be the star for the summer but this is the consistency of the gel so I'm gonna go ahead and start applying her to the hair I start off with a little bit just because it's easier to add more rather than remove product from the hair it says optional for better results apply the Mayo mint almond oil while hair is still wet for added conditioning and to reduce potential flaking so I do have the almond mint oil so I'm gonna start off just using this because I want to see the true potential of this product but if I do notice any flaking as I am styling my hair I'm gonna go ahead and add that oil but just so you guys know that is what the instructions read I'm trying to do a better job reading instructions and following them so hope y'all can see that and you also want to make sure that you concentrate on the roots because if not then you're gonna have puffy roots I mean it's great if you do want like a lot of volume more volume but yeah, and as you guys can see, I think I put a little bit too much leave-in because we're looking kind of foamy now. So this is how we're looking. I'm going to go ahead and basically repeat all of the same steps to the rest of my head. I'll go ahead and fast forward this part and then we'll be back to show how my hair looks before we start the drying process. In case you guys don't know, it's 100 degrees in New York this summer, and I'm not sitting <laughs> this summer. It's 100 degrees in New York this weekend, and I'm not sitting under a dry in this weather. I just can't do it. I feel like I would just pass out. I'm already short on breath from doing this wash and go. So I'm going to go ahead and let my hair air dry. I'll probably go to the movies to go see The Lion King. I'm super, super excited to see it. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys saw it. Let me know what y'all thought of it. Don't put no spoilers down below because I'll go ahead and delete your comments because I hate when people spoil things. But just let us know a little. I liked it. I didn't like it. I was expecting more. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. But I'm going to go ahead and get ready to go to the movies now. And then I'll be back after to show you guys what my hair looked like when it dried. And also to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on each and every one of the products that we use today. Also, I wanted to show you guys how much of the gel I had to use to achieve today's wash and go. So I did have to use quite a lot of the gel. As you guys can see, it is like pretty deep in. So I did have to use a lot of this gel, but it's okay because it wasn't as pricey as some other products. <clears throat> but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and see my movie, let my hair dry, and then I'll be back. So now I wanted to go through and give you guys my thoughts and opinions on each and every one of the products that we use today, as well as give you guys information on other products that we didn't use today that are a part of the collection. So the first product that we used today was the overnight conditioner, which is basically the deep conditioner. And this deep conditioner comes with 12 ounces of product and it is $9.99. 
all of the products are $9.99 on Target. However, on the Miles website, they are $7, I believe. I'm not sure when that sale is going to end. But if you are trying to save a couple dollars, go to Maya Organics website. It'll be linked down below to purchase your products. I purchased it from Target just because some of the things were sold out. And I just wanted to get everything in one purchase. So I went ahead and spent the extra $3. But I love Maya, so no problem. But this deep conditioner... <sighs> I'm gonna keep it a stack. I wasn't really in love. I usually love my L deep conditioners and this deep conditioner didn't give me the moisture that my L deep conditioners usually give me. So I was kind of disappointed. Um, so after I finished this can of this deep conditioner, I probably won't go ahead and get another one just because I wasn't in love and I feel like when I use a deep conditioner, I need to be in love. I have low porosity here, so I need all of the moisture that I can get. And especially since this line was advertised as moisture, moisture, moisture. And when I used this, this deep conditioner, I was expecting it to perform better than previous Myel deep conditioners that I did use. And I didn't get that, so I was kind of disappointed. Um, but, yeah. So the next product we used today was the Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner. And this leave-in, y'all, y'all saw it. Like, as soon as I put this in my hair, my curls were popping. And I honestly, I'm a fan. I plan on finishing this one and getting another one. This, but yeah, I stand a good leave-in conditioner. I could also even see myself doing a twist out or a braid out just using this leave-in conditioner, just because it's so moisturizing and my curls were popping. And the last product we used today was a moisturizing styling gel, which is she. And this styling gel, y'all, I had mixed feelings about it just because. Okay, let's start off here. Um, I thought that it was a good performing gel, but I just feel like it didn't give me as much hold as other gels do. For one, the claim on the front says no flaking, but then the instructions say to combine it with the Mayel Mint Almond Oil to help prevent flaking. I did notice some flaking in my hair when I was looking at the footage, but I didn't really see it after like my hair dried up, so that wasn't a complaint for me. But I just feel like it didn't really give my hair as much hold as I would love a gel to do especially in the summertime with the humidity and my hair is already frizzy AF so yeah this gel it was okay but it wasn't as good as other gels that I use would I recommend it yes I would but I would mix it with another gel and then along with the products we use today the collection also has a moisturizing hair butter which is she I do plan on using this hair butter and braid outs and twist outs. If you guys want to see me do a braid out or a twist out using this hair butter, go ahead and comment down below and I will be more than happy to do that on camera so y'all can see. And the collection also came with a scalp treatment, which I didn't get. I just didn't really see myself benefited from using it. I feel like I have so many like scalp oils and scalp treatments and I don't use them as often so I didn't go ahead and purchase that but that is the last item in the collection and that also resells for $10 on Target or $7 on the Myel website if that still is still going on. But um, I did want to get into my hair so this is my hair right? Um, this is I guess I don't know if it's day one or day two so basically yesterday I'll go I went to, I styled my hair, I went to the movies, and when I came home, it was still kind of wet, and I also had work today, so I didn't want to go ahead and open it, and then, you know, I'm looking not as good tomorrow, so um, I did open it up today, so I guess, I don't know if this is day one or day two here, comment down below and let me know, but I love the volume of it, I love the fluff, it doesn't have as much definition as it did yesterday, um, but I love like when my hair is like fluffy like this, and yeah. Today there is a monsoon in New York City and my hair still looked good so I was really really surprised by these results. Um, so yeah, I, I love the results. Um, however, if I do want more definition, which I usually do when I do a wash and go, I'll go ahead and mix that styling gel with another gel just to get the ultimate results that I know I would want. So the overall question of is the collection worth it or not? I definitely think that the leave-in conditioner is worth it um, and everything else is kind of optional I can't really see myself saying like oh my god I need to go grab this product again besides the leave-in the leave-in was bomb.com comment down below let me know your thoughts or opinions do you have the collection did you try it already do you plan to pick it up what do you plan on picking up comment down below and let us know make sure you guys subscribe to my channel by hitting that red subscribe button down below 
don't be a stranger and if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and i'll go ahead and include my recent uploads here in case you guys are not caught up already and until my next upload i will see you guys later